Hello everyone, in this video I explain resolving vectors. Let us we see this example. Determine the resultant force for the following system. We have here three coplanar forces. 10 Newton, 45 degrees, 5 Newton, 60, 60 degrees to the north, 15 Newton, 30 degrees to the south. Resultant it means we need magnitude and direction. So we need to determine magnitude and direction. So, first we resolve the vectors. So we resolve this 10 Newton. Near to the angle, the side near to the angle is cosine. So we resolve this 10 Newton into two components, 10 cosine 45. And in this direction, 10 sine 45. We resolve this force into two components. The side near to the angle is cosine, away is sine. So in this direction, it's a 5 cosine 60. In this direction, it's a 5 sine 60. Also, we resolve the last one, 15 Newton. The side near to the angle is cosine, so this one is 15 cosine 30. In this direction, it's 15 sine 30. This one is the direction of x-axis, and this one is the direction of y-axis. We find the sum of forces in x-axis. We write this one here, Fx. Fx it means the sum of forces in x-axis. Remember, right it will be positive, right direction will be positive, left it will be negative. So we have here 10 cosine 45 plus 15 sine 30 minus 5 sine 60. 10 cosine 45 plus 15 sine 30 minus 5 sine 60. We find this value. The answer is 10.2 Newton. F y, the sum of forces in y axis. Remember, upward is positive. Downwards is negative. Upward forces are 5 cosine 60, 10 sine 45. Downward, 15 cosine 30. So we write 5 cosine 60 plus 10 sine 45 minus 15 cosine 30. The answer is negative 3. 0.4 Newton. The magnitude of resultant force denoted by F F equals the square root of Fx squared plus Fy squared equals the square root of 10.2 squared plus negative 3.4 squared. The answer is 10.8 Newton. This is the magnitude of resultant force. What about the direction? Fx is positive. Fx is positive. So it is in this direction. So this is Fx. Fy is negative. So it's down. So Fy it's down. Then the resultant force takes this direction. The angle between the resultant force and the x-axis is theta. We can find this theta by using this way. Theta equals arc tan Fy over Fx. Remember this negative sign gives us the direction. 
So just we find the value of theta. It is arc tan Fy over Fx. So it's arc tan Fy without the negative, 3.4 over Fx, 10.2. The angle is 18.4 degrees. So this angle is 18.4 degrees. It's better to write the angle in bearing way. So remember the bearing is the angle clockwise from the north. So this is the north and this is the bearing. So we add 90. So we write 90 plus 18.4. The answer is 108 degrees. 0.4. 108 degrees point four. So we say the result and the direction now. So this is the magnitude and the direction. We say on bearing of. We say on bearing on bearing of 108 degrees. I hope you understand this way. Thank you.